Master plan. Master plan. Who in the heck has a master plan? Well, we ask our clients to have a master plan and we help them develop a master plan. So a couple of things that you want to be thinking about when we talk to our clients, even if it's residential, there is a master plan to buying residential. You're like, hey, I'm just going to live there. That's it. That's not really true. When we talk to you about things like buying a home, we say to you, when we get done in a contract, we say, look, we're not just trying to help you buy a home. That's obvious, right? But what we're really trying to do is we're trying to move you to the next level. We want to help you sell that home later on. So in other words, what that means is we don't want you to buy a stinker. We want you to know everything about going into that home, not how it fixes the problem just today, but we want to talk to you about things like, will the home appreciate? Is it in a up and coming neighborhood? Is it being regentrified as a neighborhood? And this goes true with commercial as well. So I do residential and commercial. It's a big faux pas. You don't see many people that do that. I do do that. And I'm, I love this method because I like helping people with their personal homes, but I also like them with their investment homes. So creating a master plan for commercial investors is much along the same lines. Yes, I have a building need. So I'm going to build that building or buy that building, buy the land, build a building, whatever. And I'm going to su get a sufficient need covered today. But the master plan says, what do you do with the building tomorrow and the next day into the future? Do I keep that? Do I lease it? What about when I go out of business and I'm using the building myself today? Who can I sell or lease that to later? And I think that a lot of people kind of go into investment and into residential and commercial property with eyes wide shut. I want you to have eyes wide open, and that includes creating a master plan of what to do next. Not just getting you to buy something or to lease something, but know what those next stages of the growth in your business, your family, uh, your job, etc., what that's going to be. So master plan is really, really important. I'm going to use a cool little thing. I shake this and it blinks at you. There you go. Master plan is important to real estate um, clients, and we're going to help you work on that if you want. Thank you. This is Sean Wilmoth, Realtor Extraordinaire. Talk to you on the next video.